Hi, we're going to chop up uh, an apple today um, for breakfast. Just put on the cereal here. And uh, the thing about an apple, it's got a core, so you've got to deal with that. Uh, first thing is uh, um, to look at the apple. There's a little bit of a mark there. I want to take that out. Now, I could use this knife, but it's kind of a bit of overkill for this. It's a, a small apple to chop, so I'm going to use one of these uh, smaller knives. This is a 5 inch. Uh, Cone Recon uh, knife. It's real super sharp and uh, I've had this for five years, never had to sharpen it, just wonderful. So uh, it's got a little bit of that blemish there, so I'm going to just slice that off and put that uh, over here. Then we'll just do, uh, we'll quarter the apple just with uh, simple cuts like this. And then what we can do is just do each one. And just come in under here like this and cut just underneath the core. It's pretty simple. There we are, that's that one. And do each of those the same way. That's a lovely sharp knife. So we got that. And the last one. Okay, so then we can just throw all these things, just put them into this bowl here. So we can clean up. So then we just go through this and uh, slice them up. Good thing about this knife is it doesn't, things don't stick to it, and so it cuts nicely. Bring it together like that. It's quite quick. No need to be super fast with a knife. Better be a bit slower and not cut yourself, in my view. So you can see there's anyone can do this. Nice simple cuts. Into small pieces uh, for the cereal. So this is pretty quick. And you can cut fine or coarse. This is just right in my view for the cereal. Keep on going. All very quick. Last bit, then uh, put it up on the cereal. It's easy to just grab all those by hand. Pop that on there. There's enough for two bowls. If you like a normal amount, I like a super amount of apple. It's great to start the day with a whole apple. It's really good. And so there you've got your uh, apple on your cereal. Another tip is uh, you can use a smaller cutting board. For an apple, it fits on there nicely, and then at the end of it, you just take the whole thing and just sweep it down like that. So that's uh, cutting an apple.